The space station's newest crew members are safely on board. Our first asteroid sample return mission arrives at its destination. And the first sounds from Mars. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. The International Space Station's three newest crew members, including our Anne McLean, are adjusting to life aboard the orbital outpost. McLean, Oleg Kononiko of Roscosmos, and David St. Jacques of the Canadian Space Agency docked their Soyuz spacecraft to the station at 2.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 3rd, six hours after launching from Kazakhstan. They will spend more than six months on the station and are scheduled to be on board during the first test flights of NASA's commercial crew program, which will return human spaceflight launches to American soil. On December 5th, a SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, to deliver supplies to the space station, including critical materials to directly support dozens of the more than 250 science and research investigations on board. This is SpaceX's 16th resupply mission to the space station. We have arrived. <laughs> After traveling through space for more than two years and two billion kilometers, our OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at asteroid Bennu on December 3rd. The spacecraft will spend almost a year surveying Bennu to select a location on the asteroid that is safe and scientifically interesting to collect a sample. OSIRIS-REx will return that sample to Earth in September 2023. Our InSight lander has captured the first sounds ever sensed directly from the surface of Mars. Because the sounds, which are of vibrations caused by the Martian wind, are below or near the lower range of human hearing, they've been processed to make them more audible. Two very sensitive sensors aboard InSight each recorded the wind noise in different ways, resulting in rather different sounds. An air pressure sensor recorded the direct air vibrations caused by the wind moving through the open air. While a seismometer recorded vibrations experienced by the lander itself as the wind moved over the spacecraft's solar panels. InSight landed on Mars November 26th and is the first mission to study the deep interior of the Red Planet to help us learn more about how it and other rocky celestial bodies formed, including Earth and our Moon. NASA joined the rest of the nation this past week to mourn the passing of President George Herbert Walker Bush, the nation's 41st president. In a statement, our administrator Jim Bridenstine said the late president's space exploration initiative helped us to think big and long-term about space. And his impassioned vision still can be felt in our ongoing efforts to send humans farther into the solar system to live and work for extended periods. President George H.W. Bush was 94 years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov slash twan.